welcome back to another video. So today I'm sitting here with Johanna Basford's World of Flowers and I've just been sitting here coloring and not filming and just sort of enjoying myself and coloring some leaves and I put together some really pretty color combinations for leaves when I was coloring and so I thought that I would make a video and share some of these color combinations with y'all. Some of them are very different. They are all going to have green in them but some of the colors that I pull in to create the highlights and create the contrast in the colors you would probably be a little bit surprised and it's probably something that you would not generally just pick from your Prismacolor set and put together. And yes today we are going to be using Prismacolor so if you would like to follow along, go ahead and grab your Prisma colors. I will be sharing the colors with you that I'm using on each one of the leaves. This is going to be somewhat of a tutorial because I am going to be coloring the leaves for you on camera, not just sharing the color combos. If you do use any of my color combinations you see in this video, or even create your own color combinations and color some leaves, or anything for that matter, please join my Facebook group so that you can share it with us there because I always love seeing all of your finished colored pages. Even if you're just coloring one leaf on a page and you're trying something out, you're more than welcome to share those as well. And if you would like to me, me to see it, just make sure you tag me because I don't always see all of the posts in the group. I always have a link down in the description box down below so that you can join the Facebook group. I will also have links down there for my email list, my Etsy store, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. So let's go ahead and get into this video because I'm really excited to share these color combos with y'all. Okay, so I have my page marked here with this hot pink post-it. <laughs> We've got some leaves here that are really close to one another, and I've got another one down here just in case I decide I want to share one more combination. I don't know how far we'll get in this video. I think we're probably going to start with just four. So I've got these leaves up here that are really close to one another. So I think that these will work really, really well. So I think we'll go ahead and start on the outer side here. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. And the colors that I have with this one, I'm going to start easy. So we've just got three colors here. I'm going to show you that you could very easily, as long as you have the right colors, be able to create a whole lot of depth and dimension when you're coloring leaves. So if you've been watching me for quite some time, you know that I always love to have the, a pop of color in my leaves or my flowers or anything that I'm coloring. So for that, I'm going to use the neon yellow. And then for my mid-tone, I have lime peel and for my darkest color I have Persian green and I don't think I'm going to bring any other colors in we're going to start out with just these and see how it goes so I'm going to start here with my lightest color which is the neon yellow or my highlight color and I'm just going to lay this color anywhere that I feel like it will look good and I think I'm going to put it up in this area here and then just a little bit over here. And I like to do it this way because I just like to preserve where I want to keep my highlight. I had to sharpen my lime peel and I have almost nothing left and I don't have another one so I'm hoping that my hand doesn't get in the way. But I'm just gonna come in here and just start adding some of this lime peel. I think I'm just gonna cover up this whole entire area here and I'm gonna make sure that I don't go over where I had laid that highlight color. And so over here, I'm gonna come in on the inside and then a little bit on the outside. Okay, so this is my darkest color. This is my Prussian green, and I'm gonna come in here and start adding some of this. I'm gonna start in the center by just darkening some of this up. And I sort of went out of the lines there. And because I went out of the lines, I'm just gonna pull it out just a little bit. See, anytime you make a mistake, it's just very easily fixable. And I'm just working right now on creating some depth and dimension with this darkest color. And I like to go really, really slow because I don't want to lay color where I don't necessarily want it. And I also want to make sure that I have a really good blend of these colors. And look how beautifully that Prussian green blends right into that lime peel. They're so pretty together. I'm going very easy over here with this color because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be covering up any of that yellow, but I want to make sure that I get a whole lot of depth in here. So I like to go over 
the veins of the leaves and then I always come back with my mid-tone and I blend it out a little bit so those harsh lines sort of disappear and I'm trying to make the leaf look a little bit different on each side and this one I think I'm going to add a lot of the Prussian green down here in this bottom section here and this is why I go slow because I don't want to go adding any color where I really don't want it but this one is going to look like a little bit more of an olivey green when we're done and it's going to have that really drastic pop of color once I come back and add in more of that bright bright neon yellow. So now I'm going to come back with my lime peel and I'm going to blend some of these colors in and I'm still not using very hard pressure at all because with this paper if you start to use too hard a pressure you won't be able to lay any more color down and I still want to be able to get all these colors in here even though there are three I want to be able to come back and really be able to intensify that neon color that I originally had in there that you could barely see anymore we're going to come back and we're going to go over those areas again and you'll see how much it really brightens it up but I really like how I have a lot of white space here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with this neon yellow and I am going to add a punch of this only in certain places and I think that I want to go ahead and leave that white there and this is why it's so important when you are coloring to sometimes just leave a little bit of the white of the paper and I may be coming back and laying this neon yellow in some places where I had not originally had it and that's because as I color sometimes I just change my mind and do something a little bit different than what I had originally planned and I really like how this neon yellow just pops it really makes this leaf just pop off the page and when I come back again and I lay more color with our darkest color, the Prussian green, it's really going to create all of that added depth and dimension. So as I come back and I go over this and finish it off, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so y'all can just see it come to life. leaf is done and look how beautiful that turned out and it was just with three colors and then I just used a little bit of the white of the paper to create that little bit of an extra pop right there in the center so between this neon yellow and the white of the paper it really just intensified that pop that I'm always looking for when I color anything that I'm coloring so now we're gonna go to the next leaf and this one's going to be quite a bit different <laughs> I'm going to make this one blue but I'm going to add a pop of green in there as well so these are the colors I have. I even have teal in here. So this one is going to look very, very different and you'll probably be surprised at the outcome. So I've got indigo blue, which is one of my absolute favorite blues. It really creates so much added depth and dimension. And then I have Caribbean sea. I have sky blue light and light green. And then this one is light aqua. So technically I have two highlight colors because these two colors here are colors that I would use as highlight colors for anything that I'm coloring. So I decided I wanted a blue one because I'm using blues and then I wanted to be able to bring in some green and I want my green to be the highlight of the leaf. And then that teal is just going to add a little bit of contrast. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the light green. And I'm gonna take this light green and just add it wherever I feel that it would look good. And I have a lot of colors here. I have five colors, so I don't wanna to add too much. And of course, I'll probably have to come back and go over it with some of these other colors. Now I'm gonna grab my next highlight color, which is my sky blue light. This is my favorite highlight color anytime I'm using colors that are teals or blues. And I'm just gonna blend this right in to this light green. We might even need just a little bit more green up here at the top. And then I want to be able to blend some teal into this green color. And this is only going to act as a first layer because I'm going to be coming back and 
adding other blues in here, but I think the teal will blend in really nicely to that light green as a first base color. And I think I want some of the teal over on this side, now blended into that sky blue light. And now I have my Caribbean Sea, and I'm just going to add this in different places, again, wherever I feel like it'll be pretty. And I wanna make sure that I'm not going over that light green. And I'm gonna blend it over here, right into that sky blue light. I really wanna be able to see the teal stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna come back in here and just add that pop of teal in there in some places. And then I think I'm gonna to have to come back with the green. Look how gorgeous that is already. And again, you can see that I'm still preserving some of that white of the paper. And I like doing that most of the time. So let me start seeing if I can get a little bit of some depth and dimension in here. So I'm gonna come in with my indigo blue, and this is a very dark, dramatic color. So I am going to go very lightly with this, just so I can make sure I only lay this color where I want it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is with the teal. See y'all, your leaves don't always have to be just green. I like to bring in lots of other colors and still use green. And I don't think I've ever done a leaf like this before, but I want blue to be the main color of this leaf. I want the other colors to really stand out as well. And I really just want each color to have its place. And I think I'm gonna use the indigo blue right in the center. And I really want to add a pop of something right there in the center of the stem. So I think I'm gonna put the green in there. Oh, look how cool that is. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and sort of blend some of this green into that teal and that blue. I almost think some yellow would be pretty in here too. And I really didn't add much green over on this side. So I'm just gonna pull that down there just a little bit. When I'm doing this, I like to make sure my lead is really super sharp, especially on these really fine lines. And again, this color is super, super dark, so you just have to be really careful not to lay too much pressure pressure behind your pencil. And then I'm gonna come back and sort of pull that color out just a little bit. And this is the Caribbean blue that I'm doing this with. And just sort of blending in all of these colors together so that you can't see a transition between the colors. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this leaf. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay, so I'm back with my, what was this, light green. And so I'm just adding more of this in there. And again, I'm still leaving that white there. I still want that white of the paper to really shine through. Oh, I don't know if this might be one of the best ones or my favorite ones I've ever colored. I'm gonna come back and add a little bit more teal just to give it a little bit of contrast here. And I don't wanna go too far in there because again, I want to be able to see that white of the paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my sky blue light and I'm gonna add a little bit of that in here on this side just to blend that teal out. The sky blue light is always a great color to blend out your light aqua. I'm going to speed this up as I come back and add all that extra depth like I did with the last one. second leaf is done. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love how I just put the green just on this one side here. I might have put a little bit over here, but not a whole lot. And oh my goodness, if y'all are following along, you might want to come in and maybe add a pop of yellow too. I don't know. I'm so tempted to do it. Let me see. What yellow do I have over here? Yellow chartreuse. I wonder how that will look. Let me try it here. Oh, that does look pretty. Oh my goodness. See how much fun it is just to experiment with your pencils, y'all? <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. See, now I just want to add it in more places than one. Oh, that was what it needed. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let me go over that color combination one more time so y'all can write it down. But it was indigo blue, Caribbean sea, light green, sky blue light, 
Oh, and light aqua. And then we came in at the end and we added the yellow chartreuse. Okay, so let's do another one. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I hope y'all are following along and doing this with me. So for the next one, I have pale sage, peach, and then I have deco pink and marine green. Okay, we're gonna start with these. And there is another color that I'm gonna be bringing in at the end, and that's a surprise, because <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it yet. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one, and if I don't have another combination, I will just go ahead and come up with one for this one, and we'll experiment a little bit more. So I'm gonna start this one off with peach, and I'm just going to lay some peach right in there. Again, I'm just gonna do it on this one side. Maybe I'll do a little down here. Yeah, let's do a little down there. If I don't like it, I could always come back and cover it. The next color is going to be pale sage. So I'm just gonna blend this pale sage right into that peach. And I don't know how much of the white of the paper I'm gonna leave for this one. I think I'm gonna leave a little bit right in there on this one maybe. Okay, so I think for this one, I'm definitely going to need one more color. I think maybe I'm going to try this Kelly Green as a mid-tone here, and I'm going to just start laying some of this down. I'm going to lay some up here, and then come in here and, and lay down quite a bit more of it. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with my marine green, and this the co this is the color that I'm gonna use to start creating a little bit of depth here. And again, this is a pretty dark color, so I'm going pretty lightly because some of these other colors are still really light. And I'm just going through and laying this color anywhere that I feel like I want it, just like I did in the previous ones. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop for now with that one, and I'm gonna go back and blend some of that out with my Kelly Green. Oh, I really like the contrast between these two colors. And down here where I laid that peach, I don't wanna to go too far into that area. I just wanna blend it right into there. And then of course I have my Pale Sage to make sure I get a really good blend because that color is much lighter and that will blend into the peach because the peach is fairly light. Okay, so I have my Pale Sage again and I'm just going to pull some of these colors down and blend them in. And this pale sage looks almost white, so I don't think it's really gonna be that big of a deal for this one if I preserve a lot of that white in the paper or the natural white in the paper because this color is fairly light and we've got that peach in there that's really going to add a pop. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick at the end when I come back and add another color and y'all may be really surprised at what I do. Okay, so I wanna add some of this deco pink in here, and then I'm gonna have to come back and blend that peach right into it again. I think I want a little pink over here. Okay, so I want to intensify that peach now quite a bit more. And can you see how I just left a little bit of this space open here? And I don't wanna to add too much of that peach. Now I need to come back and really start to create some of that depth and I'm using the marine green. So I'm gonna come right down here, right down the center. And y'all know I like to leave that little space right there and add a little bit of something else. And I think I'm gonna wait till the end to do that because I don't know yet what I want to do there. Okay, so let's add a little bit more of this color all around here. As I continue to add this, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. to add one little thing to this leaf and hopefully it will make it just really pop. I have my neon pink. <laughs> and like I said, y'all might think, wow, I would never do that. I'm going to add just a touch of this and then I'm going to blend it out with the deco pink. Now, if you remember when we did this one, I said, oh, I think it just needs something a little bit more. I'm looking at this one and I think the same thing because, I mean, it's beautiful and everything. I really, really love it, but I think that we can use a little bit of a pop and I like to be daring when I'm coloring. <laughs> 
So I'm going to come wherever I laid that peach and I'm just adding a touch of this and I'm actually laying this color right over the other colors. And I don't think I really need any more than that. And then I'm going to blend it out just a little bit to lighten it up with this deco pink. And you see how that deco pink just sort of spread it out a little bit. And then maybe I could add a little bit of peach back in there. That was definitely what it needed. I love that, that is so pretty. So I put some more colors together and we are going to color a fall leaf. So we're gonna do some reds and some oranges and some yellows, and I think this is gonna be really pretty. I will say though that I have not tested this one out, so I'm pretty much testing it out with all of you. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, for this one, gonna tell you the colors as I go along because I really don't have a whole lot of ideas for this leaf yet, and I'm just going to try to go along as I come up with ideas as I color. So this is Spanish orange, and this is going to be the brightest of my colors. The next color I have is poppy red, and I'm just going to blend some of this into that color. And then over here where this leaf is laying over this one, I'm gonna make sure I add more of that color right in there. Now I have crimson lake, and this is the color I'm gonna to use to just add a little bit of depth. And I have another color sitting over here that I may use as well. I'm just really not sure yet. And this is really fun experimenting with these because I've not colored an autumn leaf in quite some time. And with this color, I'm trying to make sure that I go really lightly because first of all, I don't have a lot of space. This leaf is pretty small. Oh, I love how that red stands out off that yellow there. And I think this leaf is gonna look beautiful behind that other one. And then this one that is turned over, I think I'm just gonna color that in there. And then we're gonna go down the center of this leaf. And just like with the other ones, I'm gonna save the center for a pop of something. I just don't know what yet. Okay, so I think now it's time to start alternating our colors. I have one other color here. I have Sienna Brown, but I don't know if I'm going to use that one yet. I'm gonna come back to my poppy red and I'm gonna blend some of this color out. And I'm not going too far in because I really want to keep that pop of that orangish yellow there in the center. I feel like I've been coloring leaves all day. <laughs> but this has been so fun coming up with different color combinations. Now I need to come back with the, uh, what was that, Spanish orange and I need to really pop a lot of this color in there because this is the color that's really going to make this leaf pop. And I have another color, like I always do, <laughs> sitting out over here that I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use or not. And down here I'm trying to create a blend of those two colors. Oh, how pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the blend of these colors together. Look how it just brightens everything up so beautifully. So I think we need to come back to the Crimson Lake and let's add a little bit more depth with this one. And let's go over the center again. And I may use that Sienna Brown to go over all of these veins in this leaf. So I grabbed my Sienna Brown and it's nice and sharp because like I said earlier, you need a pretty sharp lead to be able to do this. And as I go through here and add this depth, I'm gonna speed this up again. Okay, so I love the way that this one turned out too. It looks like it's on fire. <laughs> I love that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of something to this one to give it even more of a pop. And I am really loving bringing in these neon colors, but I have neon orange and I am going to add a pop of this neon orange here just to brighten it up just a little bit more. I don't know that it's really adding that much to this one, probably because I already have so many layers down here. You'll have to let me know if you can see it, but this leaf was rather small. I think it changed it up just a little bit. Maybe the neon yellow will add that punch I'm looking for here. Oh, and it does. 
So the neon orange is a great color. It just wasn't enough of a contrast. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. And we've got quite a few colors down here on this coloring page. And I think it just looks really, really beautiful. I love all these color combinations. I hope you do too. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. And if you try any of them out, please do join my Facebook group if you're not already a member and share what you created in the group with us and again feel free to tag me everything that you've seen me use in this video i'll have linked in the description box below and i will see y'all in the next video happy coloring bye